Hi folks, Cameron here for another edition of King Spirit Travels Cameron's Pantry. First of all, I'd like to apologize. Um, I am doing this a second time and even though I had opened one of the packages, uh, I really would like to do this again. I had uh, an interruption which was uh, a child between um, uh, I guess a, a mother and grandmother's arms hands walking by um, the little girl was being very vocal <laughs> and I was through with one of the products that I was reviewing and thought I had to hit the pause button I didn't I actually hit the uh, off button the uh, recording off button instead so I would like to try to do this one last time my apologies I'm doing this without a laptop because uh, the last laptop that I had was stolen I am uh, trying to save some money for one at least a hundred dollars worth I have twenty dollars set aside for that but if you would like to help with that please get in touch with me through this channel or through our email address kingspirittravels at yahoo.com you, you might even have a, a laptop that you would like to donate here because I do a lot of production quality where this is where this channel is concerned and I want to thank those that have helped me so far in getting nearly 90 90 excuse me <clears throat> 90 <laughs> 90 subscribers so far nearly so I'm just one person short. Anyway, um, uh, let's do this one more time, shall we? Uh, as you can tell through the thumbnail, we have a couple of products from Sharapova, uh, Sugarpova, excuse me, and it's by Maria Sharapova, the international tennis star. Uh, she reads on the back it says right here uh, for years I've traveled the world not just as an international tennis player but as a lover of all things sweet searching for that perfect chocolate after much exploration I've curated cocoa beans of the highest quality to create the unique melt melt in your mouth flavors of sugar boba premium chocolates from our bars to our truffles it's all deliciously indulgent one exceptional bite after another have a sweet day. Have a sweet day. I hope you have a sweet day. And you can visit them online at sugarpova.com. Right here. Right there. Visit them. They're uh, the WBENC is the National Association of Women Business Owners. And they are an organization led by women and always searching for opportunities to help other women's careers, even YouTubers like my Ivy, who is coming here next month in May. And hopefully we can get her her support through her show, RV Panam USA. Now, uh, the ingredients are very simple back here. Uh, this happens to be the uh, dark chocolate orange. It's just cocoa mass, sugar, cocoa powder, cocoa butter, less than 2% of natural flavors, orange and vanilla, sunflower lecithin. It may contain traces of wheat, milk, peanuts, tree nuts, soy, and egg. And it's distributed by Sugar Pova LLC in Coral Gables, Florida. What's really weird is that this is made in Turkey. Okay. Well, it's non GMO, soy free. And there's, wow. Very nice, actually. And three servings. This right here. Three servings. Well, three and a half, well, I should say about three and a half 
serving this per container. About this, about that much. It's 160 calories. There's only 11 grams total fat, 8 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, no cholesterol, no sodium, 14 grams of total carbohydrates, which includes 2 grams of dietary fiber and 8 grams of total sugar. And all of that is just added sugar. Well, twice as much as the human body needs. We only need about 4 grams of sugar a day, but still, it also has vitamin D, calcium, iron, and potassium in it. You get a strong dark chocolate scent to it, of course. Mm. Very good. The hit of orange really complements well with the dark chocolate. Nice balance. This is definitely a win for me. Now, the other product that I have is dark chocolate raspberry truffles. Now, my Ivy absolutely loves the scent of raspberry. She might like these. Again, they're non-GMO. <clears throat> Made with natural ingredients. This is made in the USA. See that right there? Made in the USA. Whereas the bar, made in Turkey. Why? Well, why don't you visit them online at sugarpova.com, right there, and ask. <laughs> I'm not going to ask. Well, I could ask if I wanted to. Still. There's about five servings per pouch. The serving size is two truffles. Let's break into this. And very easy to open, kind of. Um, huh. Can't seem to find the opening. Ah, there it is. I see it. Barely. Trying to get my fingernails in it. I'm trying to do this without so many edits. And I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to. Here, I'm just going to have to use this thing to cut into it. Ugh. Got this recently. Oh. Dang. I wonder why I can't get into this. Ah, there. I think I got it. Yay, there, I got it. Okay, finally. This was tough to get into. Oh, they're individually wrapped. Dark chocolate. I don't know why they would have to put a UPC symbol on it, but sugar pulva. Let's take a look at this thing. All right, first impressions. Just looks like a chocolate ball. Not really a truffle, even though it's kind of similar to a lint. Lints are much bigger and better, in my opinion. So are Godiva chocolates. I mean, they have 
a nice series of truffle wines as well. But I also like the lints, and the lints are much bigger than this. They're about oh, about that big, and of course this about fits in here. So I would say about maybe 35% bigger than this for Lent. But I'm going to bite this. I'm not going to chunk it all down. But if it's liquid on the inside, I got to know. Because you can see right here this crease. So it probably, so it probably is going to be squirty. No, solid all the way through. But it does have a really good taste to it. Nice dark chocolate truffle taste to it. Hmm. Not really dense, not really soft, more in between ish. The only drawback I cannot taste the raspberry. I think the truffle is a little bit overwhelming it. Even the aftertaste still can't. I think this isn't balanced well. As a chocolate, it's good. <clears throat> but I think they need to um, redo the recipe on this. Get a bit more raspberry flavor in it. I'm going to wolf this down and compare. I can only get the lightest, lightest flavor. of the raspberry. <clears throat> to me, it's just not balanced right. It's not bad, but as a truffle, well, There is, um, <clears throat> starts getting gritty in your throat a little bit. But the raspberry flavor just does not come through. Uh, very disappointed in this. Not recommend it. However, I do recommend the bar because that's balanced beautifully with the orange and the dark chocolate so that's it for this episode of cameron's pantry i hope you enjoyed this i'm cameron farmer for king's Bear travels cameron's pantry until next time <laughs>